doing a mini session for a client and I'm going to go ahead and read these goals here and get started. It says, I'd like to receive any messages my higher self wants to share with me. Okay. Hmm. Wow, there's, it feels deep. It feels like a beautiful, and I keep getting the images of a, a really like almost magical pond that's quite large, but it's not very deep. And it's like this water has all these deep answers, even if it's um, maybe just a foot deep. <laughs> the pond itself is. All right, let's just see. Let's just get into the zone here and see what your higher self has to share. This is real. There's a beautiful morning mist. And the mist is so thick that you're standing at the edge of a what is a very large majestic pond. It feels like a holy sacred water space. Almost like there's a spirit that people come to pray to the spirit. And it's just you here. And the spirit is yourself. There's really tall reeds that are even taller than you. Like it, they seem to kind of, um, they go around the edges of the pond. So it feels very intimate. So if anybody was here, you'd be able to see them. Because there's really only one open place, which is where you're standing. And then the rest is a still pond with all these very tall reeds, almost like... They're definitely not as tall as trees, but they, they do create um, a secluded place. The mist is very thick. It's tranquil. It's very early morning. There's uh, images of spiders right now. Spiders that have woven a web and the web is covered in dew. And you can see the web, it's exposed. The web is not hidden. It's the morning dew that then exposes the spider's web. Otherwise, this webbing material is almost invisible to our eyes. You choose to walk into the water to be one with the water, which is then one with the spirit of the water, which is then one with your higher self. And it's not as straightforward as anybody would like it to be. So you're starting to walk into the water and it, it's turning very muddy. And it's, it looks to be only six inches, maybe a foot deep max. The entire pond is, which is quite large, like a lake almost. And when you walk in, you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the mud. So you're completely covered in mud and, and only your head now sticks out of the water. You're trying to get to the center of this pond. And you can't do it. You can't do it. So now suddenly you're back to where you started and you're looking at the water and you are touching it and creating a ripple that that is going from where you touch it and it actually sends the ripple out into the center of the pond. Like you yourself created your own ripple in the water like a wave. This is hard because you're trying to make a connection and your attempts are not successful. It feels so pointless.
and I'm starting to see that the pond and the reeds and everything was all fake. It was all just a man-made creation that wasn't even real to begin with. It's like uh, buying a, a stone that holds a certain energetic property and finding out it's glass. <laughs> it's not really that earth mineral that you had wanted with that spirit of that crystal. It was fake. And so you're left with something that is not even real. It's so disappointing. This is bringing up anger from behind your heart. About the struggle of this journey. It's bridging from being human to being spirit and then sp being a spiritual human. Like there's something of the oneness of that awakening. The spirit in your human form, the human form awakened to the spirit within. And then being, walking the path of that oneness of human and spirit. But everything you do as a human to try to make the connection with spirit, it just seems like it doesn't work. It doesn't create the effect. It doesn't create the event. So you're stuck being human and you're wanting to grow out of this. You're wanting to grow out of this. Your higher self is showing me all of this. Okay, this is complicated because I'm really experiencing what it's like to be human and not know how to be a psychic person or like a, an awakened, um, I mean, it's psychic gifts. It's literally being able to communicate with the spirit realm, that sort of thing. It's been so long since I felt this way and I don't know that I ever really felt this way. This completely cut off because... I was always communicating with invisible people my whole life. I didn't consider that psychic though. I considered that normal. But I was so cut off from people. I didn't really know that that wasn't normal. <laughs> and I wouldn't just talk to invisible people. I would get their... I would get a feeling of what they were saying to me and oftentimes it wasn't what I wanted to hear. <laughs> so I would be annoyed and rolling my eyes at the <laughs> these invisible people that never tell me what I want to hear. <laughs> but that was very kind of childlike because I was very young at that time. And it's not about them actually saying anything at all. It's just a feeling inside that you get. I don't hear them say anything. I don't see them. I sense them. They become aware of the communication. It's like a clear cognizance. It's just an awareness. So right now, it's almost like we're trying to break down what is the veil that you have decided is what it is to be human because you've been more connected to your higher self than you're aware of. You've been more connected to your spirit guides and everybody than you've ever been aware of. It's almost like there's a fabricated um, idea of what it is to communicate with the spirit realm. Just like there's fabricated crystals and fabricated <clears throat> stuff out there. It's not really authentic. Um, but you have been authentically connected this whole time. And it may not be what you thought it was. Like, I thought to be psychic was to be completely aware all the time of... And you actually see them with my eyes. Like, see angels, see aura, see... But no, I, I experience. I am aware through energetic experience and processing. And I close my eyes and I go to an alternate state of awareness. That's outside of being human. So when I go to Walmart to get my groceries, I'm not, I'm totally human at that time. But when I'm doing this journey for you, I'm, I'm 
in a meditation i'm a, i'm i'm feeling things i'm becoming aware okay two st different states of being but i'm still completely human and part of this is working with others too to discover it for yourself So what do you think your higher self is saying in this session to you? It feels to me like you're ready to break out of a type of um, like a box of not being aware of how truly connected that you are. Wanting to know how to feel more connected um, to be more psychically tuned in, to be able to receive messages for yourself from your higher self. You couldn't be closer to your higher self because you already are your higher self. It's just becoming more and more aware of that through day-to-day -day life, really boring day-to-day, year-after-year life experiences. <laughs> you become more aware, especially when you're choosing your intention is to become more aware, you will become more aware. It's also for you to feel the love of your higher self within you. I mean, you literally carry a purse inside your own heart that's made out of gold. And there's a star like its own sun. And you carry the, your higher self with you everywhere you go. And you couldn't be closer to your higher self at all times. So it's not just a message. It's like, it's also the feeling, the connection. So you can feel your higher self in your heart right now by just choosing to feel that. What, what, what feeling comes to you? when you choose to feel your higher self in your heart i try to mimic that try to create the feeling and now feel it it can feel warm you can say i'm going to explore the feeling of warmth in my heart and i'm just going to say whether you can conjure it up or not it doesn't matter it's the intention of choosing warmth in your heart and staying with it and letting the warmth grow and that is you choosing to feel the relationship with your higher self in a physical way it's breaking down the box that says you're human it's you as a human and a spirit and a oneness okay you're an interdimensional being all the time Okay, that's all I can share. Thank you so much for this experience. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you for, for being open to sharing with others as well. And for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomclass.com. Have a beautiful day, everybody.